We're here for another tier list! My tier list. What's good, guys? Boy, what's that live? And we're here for the cartoon villain tier list. Who are the best villains in cartoons? Let's get into this, man! We got our tiers right here, man! Okay, starting with the, the sister assassins from Samurai Jack. And it was, it was okay. It was okay. It was decent. It was decent. I was a B tier. For that one. I didn't like love their characters, but they were cool. They were cool. Alejandro. Now Alejandro was an interesting uh acquisition, an interesting added into Total Drama Island. Him and Lightning. I think they were on the same season. I'm not too sure, but he was interesting. I would say he was like around B tier as well. He wasn't like the most amazing antagonist ever for the show, but he was decent. Everything for Legend of Korra is meh. Everything. 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 Man, I'm, uh, everything. I don't. <laughs> Sorry, Legend of Korra fans. Barry! A tier for absolute menace. If you have not watched Archer, watch it. Because every single time, Barry doesn't come often in the show. But when he does. <laughs> You best believe. So she is about to go down. Bill Cipher, peak for a peak show. Peak tier for a peak show, okay? I gotta tell you, it was perfect. Perfect, everything, down to the last minute details. Gravity Falls is so goaded, man. Ventress, ooh, ooh. Peak, ooh! I'm actually, I'm, ha I'm having a tough time. I'm having a tough time deciding how I wanna, oh boy, she was a really good villain. I don't know, I don't know. I wanna say she's peak. She is a really good villain. I'm gonna say Absolute Menace. I think A tier for Absolute Menace is a great tier to put her in. Do you need someone to talk to? Well, I have the perfect app for you. Talky AI, they have this great feature called the Mini Theater, which basically you can reinvent stories. Like playing as Naruto trying to convince Sasuke to come back to the village. Sausage. Why won't you come back to the village with us? There's no home for me in Konoha. But I, 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 I love you, sausage. You think love is enough to bridge this chasm between us? My only friend was Itachi. I won't dishonor his sacrifice by turning back now. But he literally wanted to not destroy Konoha. Itachi's wishes are a part of me, but his path isn't mine. I need to create my own way. That sounds... Retarded and bad writing. <laughs> and you will either pass or fail the scenario. Let's try the Harry Potter one. Harry and Hermione confront the rumors about their relationship. Harry and Hermione should have been together. That was the right ship. But you know how complicated things are with Ron. Fuck Ron. All my homies hate Ron. Mate. <laughs> so yeah, that's that. If you're interested, hit the link down below. Thank you, Talky AI, for sponsoring this video. Now, back to the video. Blackfire! That's not a villain. That's a bad bitch. Okay, that, that ain't no villain, homie. <laughs> that ain't that ain't that ain't no antagonist. That's just a bad bitch, boy. <laughs> oh, black, Blackfire. Oh, oh, bling bling, boy. Now I know a lot of people don't like Johnny Test, and I understand. But I don't care. I like Johnny Test. <laughs> not only do I like Johnny Test, I like bling bling, boy. Okay, I'm not going to say I'm going to put him up here, all right? But he at least has to go to B tier for being so damn hilarious, all right? Blame Bling Boy was the truth, all right? Angelica. I'm, I'm actually surprised they put Angelica here. <laughs> I guess she was sort of an antagonist in a sense. I think, I guess I would. I mean, she's iconic, so I'll put her in B tier just for the fact that she's iconic. Brains! That's, that's peak. Peak! It was perfect, perfect, everything, down to the last minute details. Peak as it gets. This is Lois's dad, right? I think he was like a villain a couple of times. Eh, the fact that I don't remember, I'm just gonna say, yeah, who are you again? <laughs> if I don't remember you, I'm putting you in that tier, okay? You, you didn't do anything to jog my memory. I do remember him doing something, but who are, who are you again? Jace! That's my nigga. Okay, you wanna know who's in my 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 top of the top of the top of the tier villains? Okay, it's that nigga, right? It's that nigga Chase. That's one of my favorite that's one of my favorite villains. 
It's one of my favorite villains, okay? He did, I ain't gonna lie, they kind of, I wanna say they ruined his character at the end, but they did do certain things that I didn't like to where he can't be put in peak. So I'm gonna put him in absolute menace because he is a menace. That boy is menacing. He's menacingly a menace, A tier. A problem. <laughs> that nigga, that nigga is a problem. <laughs> Emphasize is a problem. That nigga is problematic, okay? <laughs> Stink meaner, a fucking problem. <laughs> these, these two niggas are a problem, nigga. <laughs> this nigga terrorizes teenagers and this nigga literally came back from hell. Okay, they are a problem. Courtney! Is Courtney even a villain? Is she even an antagonist? Man, I gotta rewatch Total Drama Island. There's so much I don't remember. I, I'm gonna say, Meh, cause one, I don't remember her being a villain. And two, I don't really care for Courtney that much, like, like at all. Some people do, I don't. Plankton, peak, peak, goaded, iconic. Everybody knows Plankton. <laughs> Everybody from the ages of four to the ages of 50 know who Plankton is. That long, you gotta put him in peak villain. Adult Danny, what a loss of one of my face. That nigga was a beast, boy. Oh my gosh, Danny, Danny was my dog. Okay, Adult Danny, I loved, I love this special so much. Oh my gosh, it was so good. Oh my gosh, oh, oh my gosh, it was so good. It was so good, man. Yeah, he has to go on peak. It was perfect, perfect. Darth Maul, I'ma be for real, I'ma put him in B tier. For icon status and for the fact that it's Darth Maul, but I'm not gonna lie, since it's the Darth Maul from the Clone Wars, I didn't love their interpretation of Darth Maul from the Clone Wars. I mean, he was cool, but it just wasn't the interpretation I was hoping for, especially when they spent like a month, I think, hyping him up. They spent a long time hyping up Darth Maul for his episode, and he just didn't really fit the bill. Ah, cool! Peak. Peak troll. Peak villain, peak antagonist. Peak! It was perfect. They really got Eric up here in the villain category. Um, I'm gonna say B tier. He actually does come off like kind of annoying from times. Like those are the type of episodes I'm like, okay, Eric's just being annoying to me. Uh, so I'm uh, I'm just gonna say B tier. Uh, old girl from Danny Phantom, one of the ghosts that Danny was fighting. I think I'm gonna say. B tier. She, her episode was cool. B tier, I guess. The delightful children from down the lane. I actually did like their characters. I'm not gonna be like, oh, they're like amazing characters, but I indeed, I like the contrast that they had to the cousin and kids next door. So I definitely gotta put them at least in B tier. Grim is a villain. I mean, as a villain, he's a meh villain. <laughs> as a character, he's phenomenal. But as a villain, he wasn't. Yeah, I mean, that's him being a mad villain is the reason that makes his character his character. And this is the reason he's in the position that he is in because he's a mad villain. <laughs> Fire Lord Ozai, B tier. He was an effective villain, I think. I know he doesn't get a lot of credit because his character is not like thoroughly written out. But I mean, as a villain, as like the, the big bad at the end, the final boss, I thought he was effective. So I'll say B tier. Uh, Zuko, as a villain, as a character, Zuko is one of the best characters of all time. But this is the villain tier list. How was he as a villain? I ain't gonna hold you, bro. I'm putting him in B tier too. I know that sounds crazy. I know Zuko in B tier. So here's why I say this though, okay? Like I said, as a character, peak, not just peak, one of the goats. As a villain, let's be real. Zuko got bitched a lot. <laughs> let's keep it a buck, okay? That's why he came a good guy. Because he's a better good guy. But as a villain, you know. B tier though, because he was still effective for the show. But as a villain, he wasn't like the greatest thing. Um, Azula, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I Go, Ted! Go, then, nigga! Go, then! She was a problem. She was a menace. Black Air Force. She wasn't a villain because she was also a bad bitch, but she was such a bad bitch that she was a villain, nigga! Go, then! She was that nigga. She was a bad bitch and that nigga. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> problem. That nigga was a fucking problem. <laughs> he was a he was a problem, my guy. Noodle Bob was a problem. Dr. Doofenshmirtz. I think he has to be I think he has to go peak. Peak!
Jake! It was perfect. Perfect. Everything. Down to the last minute detail. He was actually my favorite parts of Phineas and Ferb, a show that I don't even like. Yes, I don't. I don't like Phineas and Ferb. I don't like Phineas and Ferb. It wasn't that funny. But he, great, peak villain. If, if I would watch Phineas and Ferb, I was watching for Dr. Doofenshmirtz. She go, come, come on, that's not a villain. That is one bad bitch, okay? <laughs> come on, come on, we all, we, we know it's true. We know it's true. Draken, I must say, one of the worst ships of all time. Draken as a villain, I'ma say B, he wasn't my favorite. He had his moments, he was funny. But also, like, when you're just like that villain that you get beat, like, every episode is kind of like, eh. But he, he was cool, he was cool. Who are you again? <laughs> I know the meme! I know the meme, but I don't remember who this is. <laughs> like, I just know this character from the meme alone. I think I skipped every single time, every episode that he was in, or I just don't remember. I might have to take this back. I totally forgot about him. Cannot, wait, hold on, hold on. Can't, can't two goats go as this? Can't, can't two goats coexist? I'm sorry, I forgot about Slade. It's between Slade and Azula. Goated! I totally forgot about this absolute menace! He gave Robin PTSD in a cartoon. <laughs> Ebon, absolute menace. No, whoever's watched Static Shock, you know he was that nigga. Eddie's brother. Now that's an interesting one. Cause it only took him all of five minutes to be a peak antagonist. <laughs> We finally, we finally got to see an adult in Ed Nanetti. And it took this man all of five minutes to be the most hateable, punchable villain face we have ever seen. And I commend the writing team for that. Tom from Tom and Jerry. Tom is not a villain. He's just misunderstood. He was the good guy. All my homies know Jerry was the real villain of that story. All my homies know Tom is indeed the good guy. Tom was a beautiful soul. Jerry was the real pagan of that story. Dracula, he was the good guy. Okay, I don't see a villain. I don't see a villain. I saw a man that stood on beatness. Mojo Jojo was the good guy. I don't care what you say. Those little girls were menaces. Ice King? Freaky ass nigga. <laughs> he is 69 guy. <laughs> Mr. Crocker. He was a good guy. Misunderstood. And he was right the entire time. He should not be punished for that. He should not be considered a villain because he was correct and they wiped his memory okay that is misunderstood to the highest degree if i ever seen one these are all good people in my eyes from my perspective the jedi are evil hey i've got nobody in the garbaccio let me find a garbaccio villain real quick okay i see a couple all right this nigga was garbage <laughs> i remember i remember him he was, he was beefing with Grimm at one point. I think he had he had some kid in this. I forgot his name. He was garbage. This dude is gar this dude's garbage. He is ain't, ain't never had a victory in his life. Not one episode. Not one movie. Not one special. Lame. Lame. Okay, now I don't feel bad for him. Garbage. And you know what? You know what? I take it back. I put Plankton in peak for name recognition. My bad, if I were to do that, I should have put Zuko in peak. My bad, I, I said this is the villain tier list. As a character, Plankton is phenomenal. As a villain, that dude is Garbaccio, okay? I don't know what I was thinking. This dude, let me tell you about Plankton. The more I thought about it, the more I was thinking what he actually done each episode. This dude failed every chance he got. And what makes me upset is the fact that Plankton had a machine that told you I will never get over this episode. There were so many ways to get the Krabby Patty formula. All Plankton had to do was pay off a guy to go get him a Krabby Patty. And then he could have analyzed the ingredients. Plankton had an episode where Plankton had a machine 
where he could read the, the, the ingredients of the Krabby Patty formula and he never used that machine for any other episode when all he had to do was pay off someone to get him the Krabby Patty and he has the formula. This man had gigantic robots. He could have easily crushed the, the, the Krusty Krab. This nigga is stupid. <laughs> Arbachi, I'll take it back. Why he did is a garbage villain, bro. It's Mr. Krabs. It's Mr. Krabs that's, that's truly the menace, okay? <laughs> Sold Spongebob soul. Less than a dollar. <laughs> comes in, or the chicken or whatever, that comes in Family Guy that uh fights Peter all the time. I guess, I guess it was funny at first, but after a while I was like, I don't care. Like, beat here. Eustace is a villain. Is Eustace really a villain though? Is he? He's not a good guy. But I don't know he's a villain. I feel like Eustace is a good character, but I'm not, I'm not gonna put him in like some villain tier. Morty, evil Morty. I truly think right now, I'm gonna say that nigga is a problem, but he has a chance to get into goaded tier. Uh, a couple more seasons, we'll see where they go with this character, but evil Morty, that dude is a problem. Father from Codenay's Kids Next Door. Absolute menace. I love Father's character. I, I truly do. A step above. I gotta, I gotta put him in A. Absolute menace. The Flying Dutchman. I guess he was kind of a villain, I guess, at times. Right? I think I'll put him in B tier. Curse the Cowardly Dog. Really? <laughs> really? Really? Really went all out on some of these. Oh, that little cat thing? I'll put him in B tier. Turn the slide. What? Oh, come on. This is like father's father, right? Yeah, it was like number one's grandfather. I really like how Codenay's Kid Next Door really like had a overarching plot transition. And kind of, the villains are kind of like a lot of their family members, so to speak, or or used to be members of the Codename Kids Next Door. I don't think I liked him as much as Father, so I'm gonna put him in B tier. Heather! I don't care what y'all say. I don't care what you call me. I don't care how you feel about Gwen. Heather is not a villain. That's a bad bitch. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I said what I said. I, she's better than Gwen. I said what I said. Green Goblin! Uh, absolute menace. Not as good as the Green Goblin, obviously, from the Spider-Man movie, but the one from the animated series was still top tier. I do not see Venom here. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. The villain from Cyber Chase, I think? I'm gonna say Matt, because I really don't even remember him that well. He, he, he could not have been that great if I don't remember him that well. Harley Quinn! Obviously, this is from the original animated series. Uh, I will say this though, Harley Quinn's character has ran its course for me. I just feel like they're just doing too much with the character now, trying to turn it to an anti-hero and whatnot. DC has been on a mission to make Harley Quinn the, the DC Deadpool. I get it, everybody liked her, so you, you're trying to take advantage of her popularity. It's been a little bit too much, but from the animated series, I'm going to say, I, I'm just gonna say B tier. B tier is fine. Him. Oh, 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 ah, <laughs> bro, early 2000 Cartoon Network was wild in, bro. Oh, girl from, uh, Grand Adventures of Billy Matter, I ain't gonna lie, like I said, old early 2000, early 2000 cartoons were wild in, bro. I'm gonna say, uh, she was a B tier, but man, they was doing, they was doing a lot with her. The Ganker Sisters! They were, honestly, Ed and Ed and Eddie has some peak antagonists, bro. Yeah, they were peak villains. They were some peak villains, bro. They were terrorizing them boys. <sighs> I gotta tell you, it was perfect. Perfect. When they first came on the scene, I've never been so annoyed but interested in uh, in a group of characters in my life like that. They, they were a uh, terror on that show. Um, what's what's her name's dad? I, I forgot her name, the, the vampire girl. Yeah, he, he's, he's, he's pretty cool. Um, I'm not, I'm not that big, except for him. I'm putting, I'm gonna put him in absolute menace because he, he was, he was, he was, he was absolute menace. I'm not that big on the Adventure Time antagonist, except for the Lich, okay? I thought that was truly a, a terrifying villain. Um, who is this character? Did I just skip this character? Like, for the most part, I really was, when I was watching Adventure Time, I was really kind of just 
watching episodes. I never watch Adventure Time just like straight through the seasons. Like I would just watch it when it came on for the most part. So it's like, did I just miss Lemon? His name is Lemon Grab? I don't, I don't know. I gotta rewatch Adventure Time one day, one of these days. The Joker. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Azula. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Slade. But we, we, we know, we, we know. The Goat. The Goat. Come like, come on, come on. Like Mark Campbell's Batman the Animated Series, the Justice League run, it, it is the greatest villain in cartoon history. Jamaican Joker. Um, I actually really enjoyed the Batman and I actually really enjoyed this iteration of the Joker. I felt like it was just so much different from the rest of the Jokers, but still held its own. I'm gonna say absolute menace. Is this the Joker from Batman Brave and the Bold? I don't like Batman Brave and the Bold. Everything from Batman the Brave and the Bold is mad to me, sorry. The Joker from the Harley Quinn show. I'm gonna say B tier. He was cool at first. I don't like all the direction they went with the character or a lot of characters in the Harley Quinn show. Like the Harley Quinn show was like, had a great first season. Ran out of ideas, basically. So that's kind of how I feel about it. But I'm gonna still put him in B tier. That freaking duck goose thing. That was absolute menace. Absolute menace. The Kingpin. Not the best iteration of the Kingpin, but still, a, I would say B tier. It's still a very good iteration of the Kingpin. I, I, I would say Into the Spider-Verse and obviously the Daredevil show are the two better iterations of the Kingpin, but still a very good, good version. Lex Luthor, goaded. What, what a goaded villain. Okay, I loved his character in Just League. Oh man, when they, when they do Lex Luthor again, please make him like this version, okay? Go! Ted. Old girl from Castlevania. I actually thought she had one of the most ki interesting character arcs in the show. And I also thought she had the best fight in the show. Yeah, I, I, I would have to put her in Menace. Absolute Menace. Really, really good villain. Magneto Peak, obviously. Anything with Magneto is always probably going to be a Peak villain. Peak! Oh, I gotta tell you, it was perfect. E was a cool villain. I'll put him in B tier. Uh, the guy that was always fucking with Dexter. Meh. Annoying. He was annoying. Martian Manhunter, I would at least say is better <laughs> than him. I wouldn't say he was the greatest in the world either, but I did li really like character in Duck Dodgers, which is one of the most underrated cartoons ever. Uh, and has the best theme song ever. Megatron! Peak. Peak! 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 Perfect. Mr. Burns. Pig! Pig! Perfect. Everything. Down to the last minute details. Uh, Sub-Zero, I believe this is the version from the animated verse. I don't... Did I call this nigga Sub-Zero? <laughs> did I say that? I don't know. Uh, Mr. Freeze. Okay, I don't like Mr. Freeze's character at all. Okay, I think Mr. Freeze is one of Batman's most boring villains, and I hope... When the Batman 2 eventually comes out, I hope they do not do Mr. Freeze because Mr. Freeze is boring. In fact, the most interesting the Mr. Freeze has ever been is when Arnold Schwarzenegger played him, okay? Except for that, Mr. Freeze is indeed a boring character. Omni-Man. I would say that nigga was a problem. <laughs> not as much anymore. But either way, he, he was top tier. Freaky ass nigga. <laughs> you just acting freaky, okay? <laughs> Uncle Ruckus. I'm sorry. I, I do. I, I didn't think I was gonna do this. You bamboos. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nobody said more out of pocket shit than this nigga. Not even Omni. Not even Omni Man said more out of pocket things. Than this man. This man, I was like, Uncle Ruckus gotta go to the top, man. Drago, the dragon villain from Jackie Chan Adventures. He was absolute menace. Absolute, one of the most menacing villains actually in cartoons. And if you haven't watched Jackie Chan Adventures, you don't know ball. Shredder. Peak. Peak. It was perfect. Perfect. Peak tier villain. I mean, what can what, what can I say? Peak tier villain from the best Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles series. Yes, I'm talking to you, 2012 fans. Uh, the, the, uh, the Simpsons, uh, what's his name? The murderer guy. I, mean, I guess B tier. He was cool in some episodes, I guess. I guess. There's actually a ride in Universal Studios that's based on him. That was also pretty good. So, yeah. Skeletor! Pink! 
bake! I don't even know if it was intentional or not. One of the unintentional or intentional villains. Hilarious villains I've ever seen. Truly. Truly is. Swiper no swiping. Freaky ad nigga. <laughs> hey, 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 Dora, run for your life. The rowdy rough boys. They, they were just them niggas. They were only like 12, but they were just them niggas. Okay. Look at that aura! They were about that business. Absolute menaces. They were about that business. Raven's dad. One of the best episodes in the Teen Titans franchise. Trigon in himself with Raven is an interesting character. I'm gonna put him in absolute menace. Icky Vicky! Like she has a whole song ba based on her, okay? That, that, yeah, that's enough. Oh, so icky. <laughs> is that how the lyrics went? Hey, Vicky, you're so, so icky. Yeah, that's not cool. <laughs> like, I know she's a bully. That's not cool, dog. Chip's kinda like, that's not cool, man. Vilgax! But man, when he first came in, was he an absolute menace? Oh my gosh. He wrecked my entire expectation. But you just know that villain that just wrecks the power scaling to where like, yeah, I don't I don't know how you're gonna beat this dude. He looks unbeatable. After a while, I feel like the care for his character kind of, you know, was decreasing. But overall, I gotta at least put him in a Vlad! I love this character. I love this character. I really did. I gotta put him in Absolute Menace at least. Just, you know, uh, actually Absolute Menace might be a little bit too much. I go, I, I'm gonna say B tier actually. I love his character, but I don't know if he was A tier. But I I just enjoyed his character because I thought he was freaking hilarious. Coyote, Garbaccio, ne ain't never, ain't get shit, ain't never get shit, ain't never get, I don't even know why he still does what he does. Why you still do it? What's the point? What's the point? Ain't never got a dub in his life. Not one. I don't, I think at least these three, I've seen them get a dub. Once or twice. I don't think I ever saw him get not one dub. Ever. And actually, you gotta even go at a row below. Like, why do you even try? <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it at all. Xana. Kolioko. One of the most underrated cartoons. I would say, you know, it was actually pretty menacing. I ain't gonna lie. It had some like really, really creepy moments. Yeah, I'm gonna go A tier. I'm, I'm gonna go A tier. Invader Zim. Like, come on now. Come on now. Goaded. What, like, what? What? Where else can we put him? All right. Go, Ted. General Grievous. <coughs> I don't see Count Dooku though. Yo, Groovy's gotta go absolute menace, obviously. The reason he does what he does and the fact that his his whole lightsaber thing is so eerie. It's such an eerie idea that he's not even a Jedi, not a Jedi, but like a force wielder. He literally just assassinates Jedis and steals their lightsabers to kill other Jedi. That's as menacing as it gets, bro. And I really do think that the Clone Wars did his, what, what, I feel like, I'm not gonna say ruin his character, but the Clone Wars kind of did a disservice a little bit to his character. I feel like for General Grievous, it was the opposite. The Clone Wars actually did him a really good service. The nigga Jin! I said it right. I said it right. That will be the last menace, okay? And that will complete the tier list. This is the list. This is peak tier list as it gets, bruh. I am done once again. Thank you for witnessing greatness once again. If you like this video, don't be afraid to hit that like button. If you haven't subbed to the channel, don't be afraid to hit that sub button. Share with your friends if you want. That'd be cool. Comment. Y'all know what to do. Peace to two fingers.